The year at a glance document that I mentioned, uh, this would be a year at a glance document. This is for third grade. Um, and it lays out the, the, some of the concepts uh, that you're going, that the kids are going to look at as they go through, uh, in this case, their unit on uh, life cycles in plants, and then, of course, life cycles in, in animals. And these are going to be the two summative assessments in the first trimester. So all, all we did is kind of took what we were teaching, um, obviously making the tweaks that we needed to make and any changes that we needed to make, uh, and then incorporated that into the trimester format and put that into our year at a glance document. These will be posted. So that as a parent, if you want to know kind of what's coming up this year and you want to see, you know, what are the topics my kid's going to be learning about this year, you'll be able to go on to our, our uh, website and you'll be able to see these documents. Next year, yes, next year. So this is the site, and I, this link is live, but for some reason there's something not working with this particular link. So, um, <clears throat> but what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go into our Hemfield curriculum site, and you'll be able to go into any of the grades. You'll be able to find that year to glance document. You'll be able to find the KUD documents that I'll talk about here in a second, and really get a, I think, a good sense of what it is your kids are going to be learning about uh, during the school year. <laughs> okay. Any questions that you have about this? Is this a foreign language and grades four? Oh, that's these these are these are all the different uh, subjects that are offered, and then um, we're in science down here, and these are all the grades for science. Hmm. Maybe not. The old-fashioned way. Okay. So, what are what are our goals for this year as we're going through this process? Um, again, we're trying to revise our our YAG documents, our year to glance documents. We're in the process of taking those year to glance documents then and and writing uh, a KUD, which is kind of an out outline of the curriculum uh, for a unit. So it's the knows, the understands, that the key things that we want kids uh, to know when they walk out of that class and the key things that we want them to be able to do. What are the, and, and then of course that leads into the discussion of, well this is what we want them to do, how are we going to engage them in that kind of uh, activity or that kind of thought process, what lab activities, what uh, things are we going to do in class to support that. And then, of course, we're, we're just beginning uh, to write the, the end of unit summative assessments. And that's a process. I have to tell you, um, having, having been working on this at the second at the high school for a year and a half, two years now, um, this, is a, I, I have, this is a great process. And what's great about it is really probably for the first time, I think, people are really talking about what they're testing on, the kinds of questions they're writing, they're sharing with each other, and they're talking about it, and they're, they're really working to try to improve their assessments. Uh, the teachers I, I really are in the science department are working extremely hard, uh, and I'm seeing tremendous growth uh, in the assessments that, that we're producing and that our kids are engaging in, and that makes me feel really 